Each and every year, heart disease claims the lives of 80 million people around the world. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in developed countries and claims the lives of one in three people. The perception is that heart disease is a consequence of our modern lifestyles, our fat heavy diets, our lack of exercise, or special habits like smoking, or stressing out too much. However, recent studies on mummies from ancient Egypt showed that just like us, they had clogged arteries and suffered from atherosclerosis. To keep up to date with all the great medical content I publish each and every week, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned to find out how mummies from ancient Egypt changed our understanding of heart disease and atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a disease where blood arteries narrow down due to the buildup of plaque material. These plaques typically consist of fat, cholesterol, and calcium. As these fatty deposits build up inside your blood vessels, they restrict the flow of blood to the organs supplied by them. Should this happen in your coronary arteries, the arteries supplying your heart, you could experience chest pain, a heart attack, or even heart failure. Because these fatty deposits typically consist of, well, fat, doctors typically advise their patients to cut their intake of animal products, to exercise more, and to quit smoking. However, autopsy along with radiological studies performed on ancient Egyptian mummies seem to suggest that heart disease is a much older problem. The mummy of Pharaoh Merneptah, son of Ramses II, was found to have such severe atherosclerosis that his arteries had become calcified with bony-like patches along them. Evidence of atherosclerosis was not just limited to mummies from pharaohs, however. CT examinations demonstrated evidence of atherosclerosis in the carotid, femoral, coronary, and aortic arteries of clay mummies as well. In fact, out of 76 Egyptian mummy studies, 29 showed evidence of atherosclerosis. It appears that atherosclerosis and heart disease seem to have been just as common amongst the ancient Egyptians as they are amongst Egyptians alive today. Heart problems appear to have been so common in ancient Egypt that a medical text from 1550 BC states, If thou examinest a man for illness in his cardia, and he has pains in his arms and his breast and on one side of his cardia, it is death threatening him. These findings were very similar to findings from mummies belonging to other civilizations, Peru, the American Southwest, and the Aleutian Islands. In fact, we were able to demonstrate calcific atherosclerosis in an ancient European mummy from 3300 BC, belonging to Otzi the Iceman. Calcific degeneration was observed on both carotids, the aorta and the distal iliac artery. It appears that heart disease is as old as humans themselves, and that there is really no way to escape it. It's not a question of if you will develop atherosclerosis, but a question of when. Things like reducing your intake of animal fat, quitting smoking, exercising more, don't really prevent atherosclerosis, they just delay its progress. This is supported by the fact that atherosclerosis typically develops first in childhood and is almost universally observed in all people, regardless of lifestyle, by 60 years of age. It appears that heart disease is hardwired into our genetics and that the onset and progress of this disease is governed by a complex framework of environmental factors that either promote or suppress inflammation inside your blood vessels. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you really loved it, then you should subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the great medical content I publish each and every week.